Hey there. I decided to start this video with something I've heard this morning. Uh, just for the context, it was a speech from the justice representative of a democratic country. And it was something like, we believe in the freedom of speech, but... And in my opinion, whatever comes after that but is very unfortunately placed. Language is a powerful tool, don't know if you've realized it, and to use our language masterfully is a really powerful skill. A thing I always am aware of, sometimes more than I wanted to, is the use of but in the conversations that I hear. I do mean the conjunction. Now, but is used a lot to put two opposite things together. It's nice, but it's noisy. This is a good book, but it's hard to read. Our minds do expect that after a but, we put something that would take the phrase into a totally different direction than how it started. A big thing I observed is that people are using this even when actually they don't mean to use it. And when you don't mean to use it is usually when you want to keep the agreement, keep the client with you, keep the conversation open, etc. I agree, but, I understand, but, yes, but. What do you think happens in the mind of the people who are hearing this? Most probably, their brains start to walk away from any agreement you might want to keep going there. I'm pretty sure this happened to you as well. So what to do? One thing you could do, if your intent is to finish the phrase in a positive way, is to switch the order of the positive but negative into negative but positive. It's nice but it's noisy becomes it's noisy but it's nice. Do you notice the difference? We will do it but it's going to be tough. It's going to be tough but we will do it. Another thing to remember is a technique that I personally found a bit hard to grasp in the beginning. And now I still realize it's a conscious effort I'm doing, but it seems to work very, very well. The technique is to simply replace the but by an and or also. Just try it. I agree and instead of I agree but. I understand also instead of I understand but. Because you do understand, right? Yes, and it's awesome, use it. Again, I also find it a bit hard to use in the beginning, but then I realize there are actually very few cases when we should actually use but. In NLP, we call this the agreement frame, and it is a very powerful method in which you reduce resistance when communicating, in cases such as negotiation or any argumentative discussion. I don't want to suggest that you should actually change tomorrow and make the but disappearing from your vocabulary. I do however want to suggest that you pay attention. When there's a but in your sentence, try to realize it and think how could I rephrase this to keep the rapport. It will be a conscious effort in the beginning and then this awareness will become automatic and in time you'll become a master at really controlling the butts walking around. I hope this adds to the list of things you already know to be a good communicator. And you might want to stick around this channel for whatever might be coming next. See you soon.